Hey everyone, it's Eli Infante, and today we're gonna do one light high-speed sync portraits using the FJ80. What inspired the composition was the natural framing in the environment, these two barn doors. And I placed the subject right in the middle so that it gave the hand something to do. Then I placed my light camera left. And whenever you place your light, the key thing that I'm always looking at and I'm zooming in on my camera is where are the catch lights? I'm also ensuring that I'm getting some shadow on the opposite side where I have my light, that's gonna create more depth. So throughout the process of me setting up the shot, the first five to 10 shots is me just slowing down, taking a look at the small details to make sure I have my lighting position in the perfect place. Can you put your hand again, like up in the, the hair like that? And you're kind of looking down, like that's it. Good, oh, that's awesome. Do that pose, I think that's gonna be the winner. I think it's just something, it's, it's so different than what we've been doing. While I was taking this photograph, my shutter speed was at 3200 and I needed high speed sync. And even with the FJ80, I was still able to expose a properly balanced photograph. One thing that I love to create in my photographs is nice, beautiful, soft light. And you might think if I'm gonna use a speed light and use high speed sync that you're gonna use it bare. I was able to use the FJ80 with the Okta M and still produce a high speed sync photograph and get that beautiful soft light. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thank you guys for watching.